What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today it is time for day one-ish of San Diego Comic-Con. Yes guys, we have brand new WWE Mattel action figure reveals and I'm excited to get into it guys. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it guys. We're starting off with Jack the Ripper Finn Balor guys. I do not have to cry in the corner. I know all of you were looking forward to me crying in the corner but I don't have to because Mattel actually gave him the accurate ripped up torso. They did not give him the Daniel Bryan style torso. So thank Christ and I, I am going to live a fantastic life now, and I'm going to live a very happy and satisfied life because this Finn Balor looks beautiful, guys. It looks great. I love the cloth jacket. It looks incredible. I'm loving the, the face. I'm loving everything. I cannot wait to see what it looks like without the cloth uh, robe on, but it still looks great nonetheless. I'm super duper excited for it. It looks fantastic, but let's get into some other figures. I wanted to start off with that one. I had to start off with the Finn Balor, though. So starting off, guys, we had some brand new reveals here. Well, not exactly brand new reveals, but you guys get what I'm saying. These are fully painted versions of all of our prototypes. Here is EC3. The last time we saw him, he was a complete prototype. We didn't know what he'd look like, and he looks great. He looks head-to-toe perfection. Like, he looks absolutely fantastic. I love the head scan. I love the shirt. I love, You know, it is rubber, but you know it is what it is. It fits anyways. Um, I think it's a perfect figure from head-to-toe. I really do enjoy that EC3 figure. Vince McMahon, we saw that last night at preview night. And then Seth Rollins, we've seen before. He's coming with the Intercontinental Champion championship and they did add gloves to him so that is a nice touch there but that is those three figures next up guys we have my boy Dolph Ziggler and my Christ on a bike he is the chase variant and he looks beautiful guys I love this it, they chose the highlight pink that bright but you know highlighter pink looks fantastic I love the intercontinental championship you know attire that they went with is beautiful as well and we get a silver cloth jacket which will look great and then of course we have Gerald Briscoe thrown in which is a Walmart exclusive but Jesus Christ that Dolph Ziggler looks amazing I'm definitely gonna gotta, gonna have to get both of them at first I didn't know how to feel about the head scan but now that I'm looking at it and you know I, I took some time to look at it I really do like it I think it looks good and I like the hair choice it's a different take on Dolph Ziggler and I'm excited for that and then the last figure in Elite 70, guys, this is a shake in my head moment, and I don't know, I don't understand why Mattel does this, I don't know the behind the scenes stuff, but this is Johnny Gargano here, you guys can see here, and I don't know if he's going to have the ripped up torso, but it is a fact that he is going to have the short kick pads again, we're getting the short kick pads again with the painted lower legs, and I do not understand why they do this, it just doesn't make sense. From head to toe, this figure, or I should say head to knees, this figure looks so good, like my god, it looks good, the head scan, the attack higher the colors just my god it looks so good and I love this Johnny Gargano but they totally just mess it up here with the lower legs I don't get why they have to do that I think it's like I, I just don't get like why why can't you just you know moving forward take AJ Styles lower leg mold and his kick pad mold and throw it on the on the Johnny Gargano figures before you get them painted I, I don't know you know again I don't know all the behind the scenes stuff I don't know what goes into it I don't know all the you know the deadlines and all the crazy stuff that goes into designing figures and toys and stuff like that so I couldn't tell you that, but looking at him, looking at him here, I mean, my, I, I don't know, the beautiful looking figure nonetheless, but that is a very frustrating detail right there, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be upset about that one. Moving on, guys, we have some more prototype figures that are completely finished. We have Elite Series 71 Drew McIntyre. We have seen that one before. They pretty much just gave us a new head scan with the hair all in the face. We have this Attitude Era Big Show, which looks really, really good. I'm excited for that Big Show figure. And then this Adam Cole. My God, it looks beautiful. And not only that, it comes with a cloth t-shirt, and it also comes with the North American Championship. And one thing I will notice about the North American Championship is that the brown is a bit dull. It's like really flat. It doesn't have like the orangish red tones that the North American Championship has, so it may be an early prototype or that may be the final product. If it is the final product, that's not, you know, my favorite color for the North American Championship strap. However, I do like this figure, and I, I like it. I mean, it's nice, and I'll take a North American title with a slightly different color brown strap, but um, I think this may be an early prototype, and that's okay with me, but Elite 71 looking really good. I love this Adam Cole. Can't wait to see the full tights on that one, and then we have John Cena and Nikki Bella, and John Cena, I, I do not like that this is the same green attire that we got with, what, Elite Series? What series was that? I can't even remember now. Elite Series 64. Elite 64 John Cena, it's the same figure but with a new head scan with the longer hair mold, which is pretty cool. I like the head scan, of course. It's a new take on John Cena, which I enjoy. However, um... I don't like that it's a re-release of Elite Series 64. And then the Bellas, guys. This is Nikki Bella Elite 71 is the Chase variant. So there's two different versions of Nikki Bella and Elite Series 71. And I don't like that either. I think that's a total waste. I don't think a lot of people are going to be purchasing that figure at all. So that's uh, that's kind of disappointing from, for, to, you know, from a certain standpoint on that. 
And uh, the next few figures that we have, guys, is Jeff Hardy and Cassius Ono. Yes, we are getting Cassius Ono. He is going to be a Target exclusive to Elite Series 71. Looks really, really good. Really excited for him. And then we have Jeff Hardy in the pink and black, which looks really good as well. Very excited for Jeff Hardy. you got two different images here. And you will notice he comes with his towel, and that is something we have never seen. You know, the Elite Series 1 Jeff, I think, was supposed to come with a towel, but now they have brought it back all the way up to Series 71. So 70 Series later, we get the, uh, the, the towel back for our Jeff Hardy figures. So Elite 71, not the greatest set in the world, but I think it's pretty freaking sweet. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more Elite figures on display here, and it is the brand new Walmart exclusive Survivor Series 2019 figure line that we're going to be getting, guys. We have Jeff Hardy and Shinsuke Nakamura starting it off first, and both of these look great. I really love the Jeff Hardy. I love the different armbands that we're getting with Shinsuke. I'm so happy to finally get a Shinsuke Elite that is not red. I like this, that we're getting a different take. You get the cloth shirt, which is a nice touch. The Jeff Hardy looks great. You know, you can do all kinds of fix-ups and swaps with that Jeff Hardy with the arms and the head and everything like that. So both of these are great. I hate that we're getting a reused Shinsuke Nakamura head scan. However, you know, that, that Shinsuke Nakamura head scan is really, really strong, so I'm not even going to complain about that but both of those figures look great the other two figures aren't so great in my opinion you know i don't know anything about uh don morocco but the the cloth t-shirt that we're getting for him looks really good i am a fan of that i may be able to get that shirt and use it for something else maybe for the pick fed or something and alicia fox from survivor series 2017 i think is supposed to be the year maybe 2018 i can't remember but alicia fox in here i really don't care for alicia fox she hasn't been on our tvs in a really really long time and so i i'm not even a fan of alicia fox but you know i guess it is what it is and so there is Alicia Fox. So we get Alicia Fox, Don Morocco, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Jeff Hardy in the Survivor Series 2019 Elite Wave. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more Elite figures shown here from SDCC. This is supposedly supposed to be Elite Series 72 featuring Jinder Mahal in the yellow attire with the WWE Championship, Rey Mysterio, Diesel, and Brock Lesnar. And to be honest with you guys, the Brock Lesnar, I'm very confused by. This looks just like Elite Series 55 Brock, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, am I wrong or am I right? Um, we have Big Daddy Cool here with Diesel. Looks pretty good. I like the I like the fringe going on. Seems like it's been like every other Diesel figure. We have this Rey Mysterio, which I'm really confused by. It looks exactly like Elite Series 15 Ray, except it's in royal blue instead of purple and yellow. So um, I don't know if they're just wanting to re-release that figure with slightly different colors or what that is. I really do like the gender. I think the gender is the strongest figure here. I really do like the way the yellow looks. It really pops off the figure. But um, I don't think I have any rumors right now as far as what the rest of Elite Series 72 is. But this is what they showed us at SDCC. Next up, guys, holy crap, we got some brand new WWE action figure renders from Mattel. You guys know they always show us some images, and right here we have Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins. You guys know I'm a massive Rollins fan, so I love this here. We get a brand new head scan that we saw on that Thanos basic Rollins. We get a Buddy Murphy. I'm also a big Buddy Murphy fan, so seeing this Buddy Murphy has me super excited. And then we have a Daniel Bryan Planets Champion Edition with the hemp championship here looking great i love this i cannot wait to see what these look like final you know when they're finally released but it's going to be a little bit you know uh we i guess these are going to be regular line i'm not sure if that's going to be you know regular line or maybe this is the royal rumble wave i'm not sure what they're thinking here with this but uh i like these figures nonetheless they look really really good and i cannot wait for them Next, guys, we have some more renders. We have a Rick Rude Elite, which looks fantastic. I am really excited for that one. It's when he feuded with Warrior, and I really like the boots on this guy. Rick Rude looking great. That's a new Rick Rude head scan we've never seen before. We have a new Elite Ronda Rousey, it looks like, and this one looks fantastic as well. And if you guys will notice on her legs, those are double-jointed knees. And guess what? Moving forward, every single women's figure that is Elite will be the same articulation as the men's. That means double-jointed knees for every woman's figure going forward, as well as inner interchangeable hands so this could mean that we could see women in the mdt pick fed moving forward it's possible like don't don't quote me on this but it is possible it's definitely mo looking more and more possible that we may see that and we also have the gamestop fighter Fe er, fighter fest we have the gamestop retro fest Mr. Perfect right here, which looks good as well. We've seen that figure, but they did have it on display there, so I wanted to show that off as well. But Ronda Rousey and Rick Rude look great too. Moving on with some more renders, guys. We have some WrestleMania Elites, and these look really good. I'm really, really excited for these. We have a WrestleMania 34 Matt Hardy, where he won the, uh, you know, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We have the WrestleMania 19 Booker T. 
where he fought Triple H and came up short. We have a WrestleMania 22 Mick Foley where he took on Edge, which, which looks really good. And then we have a Kofi Kingston from WrestleMania 35 where he captured the WWE Championship. So all four of these look great, man. You know how we always get a WrestleMania Elite set nearing WrestleMania. So I'm guessing these will be spring of 2020. If I had to guess, that's what my, my uh, prediction would be in that when they start releasing those closer and closer to WrestleMania. So it'll be a little bit before we get these, but nonetheless, they do look really, really good. Maybe the beginning of 2020 is when these will drop, but I'm loving all four of these. Next up, we have some interesting stuff, guys. We It looks like we have a re-release of Elite Series 56 AJ Styles, but it looks like it has the Elite Series 66 head scan, and it's coming with two sweet hands from the match with Finn Balor at TLC where they took on the Demon because this on the right is a re-release of the entrance grades Finn Balor, but it looks like the face paint is smudged off. It has the smiling head scan, which I hate we're bringing back. That sucks they're bringing that back. But it looks like uh, it's going to come with two ha two sweet hands as well, which is awesome. I love that we're getting two sweet hands. I think it's overdue. You know, we've talked about it a long time, but that is awesome that we're getting two sweet hands. I love that to death. He's got the open hands as well. So I guess this is going to be like some re-release. I don't know if it's going to be a special line or anything. Maybe they'll come. I don't think they'll come together in a two-pack or anything, but we are going to be getting these re-released elites. But it is really awesome that we're going to see two sweet hands from both of these. Moving forward, guys, we have some flashback figures here. We have a flashback hurricane figure. I am so excited for this. You have the lime green look to him. You have the green, white, and black kick pads. I freaking love this hurricane figure. I'm so excited for it. Our first elite hurricane. It'll go perfectly with my other hurricane that you guys see on Vindication sometimes. It's going to fit nicely with that. We get the Gorilla Monsoon that we eventually lost in that two-pack earlier with the Survivor Series battle packs, I believe. That one did get canceled, but we're seeing it here again. And uh, what a great, man, I'm so so excited for Hurricane, man. That that thing looks great. One of my uh, biggest markout moments at SDCC this year is with this Hurricane figure. I cannot wait for that. I don't have any info, uh, you know, regarding what sets or anything, but we are getting it. Continuing with flashbacks, guys, look at what we are getting. We are getting a Christian in the brood with the goblet. This is absolutely fantastic. I love the head scan on here, the longer natted hair, and we are getting a viscera. I cannot believe we're getting a viscera, guys. I guess Christian was right. I know my boy on Stable 1047 over there is marking out for this because, you know, he said that like, when we got the King Mabel, it was like, we're going to get a viscera, and by God, here it freaking is, guys. I cannot believe we're getting a viscera. That is so cool. I cannot wait to see, you know, what these look like when they're finally produced and I am super happy for them. The sleeves are so, you know, nice for these two. They're, they have like their own sleeve mold that we've never seen before. So these are going to be really great and I cannot wait to see what they look like when they are finally released. Some more WrestleMania figures, guys. We have two WrestleMania 35 figures here, and we are getting Mysterio, Rey Mysterio from WrestleMania 35, where he totally got squashed by Samoa Joe. But my God, does this figure look epic. I think this figure is going to be an early figure of the year contender by far. Like, this this one looks incredible. I cannot wait for this one. And then we have Samoa Joe. It is in the red again, and that is very confusing to me. It is a new head scan, though. I, I know they're going to nail that head scan. The mohawk -y look to Joe there looks great, but I do not know why we're getting red again. Maybe it'll be like the off red or that pinkish color that we've seen from Joe before but the Rey Mysterio is fantastic the Rey Mysterio has me freaking like losing my mind over here but nonetheless that is a great looking figure I cannot wait for that one next up guys we have a ringside exclusive figure and it is going to be imposter Kane where Undertaker dressed up like Kane but it's also a two-in-one figure you guys will see there that you can you know it has three or two interchangeable heads one with a removable mask and it is Undertaker with the face paint and then you have Kane there with uh where you put it you know you can switch out the head and it's a double sleeve cane so you have a two-in-one figure representing both the undertaker and cane so you can buy two of them have one on your undertaker display shelf and one on your cane display shelf i thought that was really unique so i cannot wait to see you know what what information we're going to get on these guys or uh, when when this ringside exclusive is going to be i guess this is going to be the next one right is what i would guess next up we have three new figures guys roddy strong my boy roderick strong is coming you guys already saw the buddy murphy figure but pete dunn roddy strong and buddy murphy here i love uh, Roderick Strong, one of my favorites in NXT, if not my favorite right now. Um, I d I'm not a big fan of the torso choice they use, but the attire is great. It's the War Games attire. I'm super excited for these. I cannot wait for these, and I had to plug them in here. Uh, one of the best renders ever is going to be Roddy Strong. I also heard that all three of these are going to be in the main elite line, I do believe, so you don't have to worry about exclusives or anything. Buddy Murphy and Roddy and Pete Dunne will all be in the main elite line, so you do not have to worry about that. We also have this two. I don't know what these, what line these guys are going to be on, but we have a Natalia and Jim the Anvil Nightheart 
Both of these look good as well. Not a huge, you know, Natty or Jim the Anvil Nightheart fan, but it is cool to see these elites here of these two. We also have a brand new elite set of the Lucha House Party, and I do not know if they're all three going to come together. I don't know what this is, if they're going to be in their own line or if they're going to be in a three-pack or what this is, but apparently Grand Mets Elite. Kalisto and Lince Dorado, all three in the works, and they all three look good. I'm really happy for the Kalisto. The Kalisto looks great, and it's going to be really cool to have Grand Metalik and Lince Dorado also to plug into our cruiserweight divisions, guys like that. I mean, the, these figures look great. I cannot believe we're actually getting elites of those guys. That's that's pretty freaking sick. Um, moving forward, guys, we already talked about this a little bit, but there these are three elite figures, and it is Mandy Rose, it is Lacey Evans, and it is Kyrie Sane, three great-looking women's figures. I'm super-duper excited for these. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to see how the women's figures feel after we get them with double-jointed knees. That is going to be something that I'm looking forward to for sure, and uh, these are three figures that I'm looking forward to. I'm not a big Lacey Evans fan, as you guys know, but I'm excited to see what these double-jointed uh, knees look like, and also Lacey Evans has some of the best boots in the game, so I, I like that as well. Moving forward, we have some more WrestleMania elites, I do believe, or at least two of these are WrestleMania, maybe, I, I don't know, no, 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 you're an idiot. The one in the middle, the Batista, is from WrestleMania 35, the other two are not from WrestleMania, and it is Rey Mysterio, Batista, and Becky Lynch, you guys know I'm a big Becky Lynch fan, I love Batista as well, and another modern Rey Mysterio, which I am always happy for, um, all, all three of these look really, really good, and Batista is probably the one that I'm the most excited for, I really wanted that figure once I saw him, and I was going to make a custom, but now I'm glad that I didn't, because I don't have to make another custom anymore, I'm just going to have to wait on this WrestleMania 35 Elite Batista, so I'm excited about that one, I was really impressed with the boots on that guy, and Becky Lynch looks good too, I'm going to be excited to see if they uh, actually make the head scan any you know any good because uh, they have not ever made a good Becky Lynch head scan so I'm excited for that one next up guys we have some more basics here we have a Keith Lee basic an R-Truth and a Carmella super excited for Keith Lee I wish it was an elite figure but I can't understand you know uh, what it is and I wish that R-Truth was an elite but who knows what we're going to see in the next couple days we are also getting some stuff tonight so we may get uh, R-Truth tonight who knows like they are still going to be revealing stuff tonight so it may be a double upload day as far as news is concerned. I'm going to be up to date with you guys. There may be an upload at 10 p.m., who knows, depending on if they show any show us anything good or what, what the results are and all of that. But moving forward, we have a New Day pack of basics, and they are going to come with a plate of pancakes. I thought this was really interesting. I don't know if you're going to have like separate pancakes that you can throw in the crowd or not. I'm not sure if that's going to be a thing, but they do have this three-pack of, of New Day. I don't know if they're going to all be separated, but them coming with the pancakes makes me think that they're going to be in a three-packs, much like the, you remember, you guys remember the Kmart exclusive uh, battle packs. You remember when they used to have like Evolution and they had like uh, three different three packs. I think that is what this is going to be. But nonetheless, there is the New Day. And then we have more basics and we have a Trish Stratus, a Lita. I think both of those are from Evolution, if I'm not mistaken. It could be the Royal Rumble, but I think it's from Evolution. I, again, I can't remember. Also, we have a Matt Riddle. We have a Matt Riddle Bro basic figure, which sucks that it's a basic again, much like Keith Lee. It's like, geez, man, why's it got to be a basic? But you know, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Uh, I can just easily remove the head scan and throw it on my Elite, and that will be okay with me for now at least. I'm sure a Matt Riddle Elite is definitely in the works from Mattel, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Coming into the last figures that we're going to show off here today, guys, we have three new Elites here, and it is an Elite China. Yes, first time in the line China. I cannot believe we're actually getting an Elite China. This is a really big deal. You know, we always thought that, you know, they weren't ever going to mention her name. She was almost, I don't know why, but she was like, almost like just blackballed completely. I think it's just from some of the decisions she's made in her life regarding, you know, her uh, her entertainment, you know, standpoint in her career. But anyways, uh, we have China, we have Greg the Hammer, Valentine, and we have Sting, all three of which look really good. Really excited for China, man. That's going to be epic to put with our DX figures. I mean, that's going to complete that display and totally take that display over the top. I cannot wait for that. We also had a teaser for a Becky Lynch Ultimate Edition. They showed off two different belts, and that's supposed to be the teaser for an Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch. So hopefully they take it to BEW level with the head scans on that one. So I'm excited for that. And the other... Ultimate Editions that we have, guys, is Brock Lesnar. That is going to be an Ultimate Edition, which is kind of boring, to be honest with you. I wish that they wouldn't do an Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar, but that will keep us from having to buy any more Elite Brock Lesnar. So if we get the Ultimate Edition, you know, you have all the interchangeable heads, all the stuff you don't have to, you know, worry about anymore. Maybe it'll come with jogging pants and a cutoff tee. That way you can have his backstage look and all that stuff. And we also have an Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels that I am very excited for. Cannot wait for this Shawn Michaels figure and to see what all the details look like with that. And the last figure that I think that I have to show you guys 
is uh, a Build-A-Figure referee. We're getting a Build-A-Figure referee, and that is going to be absolutely epic. I cannot wait for this one at all. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be incredible. Um, it's going to be this uh, this Build-A-Figure referee figure. And uh, I am actually getting word right now that the uh, two packs that we saw, there's two Elite 2 packs that, uh, that we have shown off, and one of them is the TLC Finn Balor and AJ Styles that all obviously come with the two sweet hands. That is going to be a two-pack of Elite figures. And then we have the two-pack of WrestleMania 35, Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and Samoa Joe. Both of those are going to be a two-pack together, which is very crazy. That's that's insane that that is going to happen. Also, the Lita and Trish figures that we showed off, that is going to be a battle pack. And then the New Day with the pancakes is also going to be a battle pack. So it's going to be Big E and Xavier Woods with the pancakes. So that is the other battle pack. So that's, that's pretty interesting, man. I did not know that at all. Uh, Lars Sullivan is also a basic that uh, I don't know if I showed you guys. I'll pull it up if I didn't show you guys already. So I'll show off Lars Sullivan as well. And it is a standalone basic. So uh, that is a standalone basic. Matt Riddle and Keith Lee are also standalone basics as well as R-Truth and Carmella. So uh, I think that is pretty much it. You guys saw that. We have all of that. And that, that pretty much does it for all of the figures as of now. The, again, there may be some more um, stuff coming out later as far as, uh, as far as news. And if there is, then we will definitely be uh, putting it up to you guys and letting you guys know everything that has to do with uh, San Diego Comic Con. Um, we co I think we covered all everything, guys. I think we covered everything. There may be better images that I didn't put up here, but uh, you guys pretty much get the gist of it. They're floating around everywhere, and I'm trying to get all of it up to you guys at the same time while getting many messages and getting stuff sent to me and trying to keep up with everything. So. I did my absolute best, but again tonight, I know this video went really, really long. I did not expect it to go this long, but uh, if we get any more pictures, we get any more news, we get anything, I will cover it right here on the channel, and we will break it down, and I will give you my personal thoughts and opinions on everything and show you guys every single figure that Mattel shows us at San Diego Comic-Con. Again, there may be a video later on tonight, as late as 10 o'clock, possibly later, depending on if we actually uh, get anything more. I think I've heard rumors that there are going to be more news coming out and more pictures, more figures shown tonight on day one. So if that happens, stay tuned to the channel, turn on your bell, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and be waiting on the uh, notification. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I know it was a lot to take in, very long video, but you know it is what it is. We had to cover all these amazing figures, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys tonight if there's any news. If not, we'll t hit up tomorrow for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.